No, no, no. Don't let him get the heavy. Don't let him get the heavy. Nope, nope, nope. Did I? Nope. Nice down. Uh oh. Need that coop. Run, 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 run. You're not gonna get me. Heal up. And come on, come on. Right there, right there. Come on, come on. Keep following me. There you go. Come on. Ah, don't run. Back here. I know. Steal my kill. Dang it. What is up, Guardians? JB here, bringing you another Destiny 2 video. And today we are going to take a look at the new Monarchy's factionality reward weapon, the Liquitor 4. So, um, yeah, this was the reward that we've gotten this week from the Faction Rally, or should I say last week from the Faction Rally ending. Uh, new Monarchy won, obviously, so we have, this is our reward. If you pledge New Monarchy, you could pick this up for 1,000 Glimmer. If you did not, you could pick this up for 50,000 Glimmer. So hopefully you did like I did, and you pledged each faction to each different character you have so that you always have the option of buying the weapon that's rewarded. Um, it's a little weird, though. Last Faction Rally, we were able to purchase all the weapons, I do believe. I can't remember. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I thought you were able to purchase the other ones regardless. But, uh, yeah. So, let's look at this weapon. So, I'm not going to go into the numbers, okay? Uh, you can just pull those up on Destiny Item Manager. But, just looking at the stats here, you got decent impact. Uh, pretty decent impact. Great range. Uh, oaks, okay stability, not that great stability. Um, handling's okay, reload speed's decent. Uh, I'm using, uh, gonna use my hunter on the warlock with a fitting aspect. The reload is really fast, uh, so that's a good thing. But um, I'm gonna use it on my hunter today because it's a long range weapon, and I want to be, I don't know, I want to work a little more elusive, keeping a distance, using the gun what it's intended for. I'm not just gonna run around with the weapon. Um, and use it not what it's intended for. I want to actually do a review on how the gun should be used. So that's what we're going to do today. Now we'll say this, after playing with this gun, I will say that uh, if I was to masterwork this, I would probably go with stability. Uh, it needs it. So um, it's a great gun, don't get me wrong. I think it's better on the PC than console, but stability is definitely uh, something I would probably want to masterwork. It'll probably end up being like right there maybe. Yeah, so... Um, so let's look at the options here. First off, high impact frame, slow firing, and high damage. This weapon is more accurate when stationary and aiming down sights. Uh, the first sight we have is the GA post sight, which is a short zoom sight. Uh, the second option is the thermal sight, the SD thermal, uh, which adds more range but takes away from the handling. But it also gives you highlighted enemy targets. I don't really like this sight. It's okay. The reticle is just a little weird for me. Uh, then you have the LC range sight. Uh, which takes away a lot of your handling, but adds incredible amount of range. That range is ridiculous. Look at that. It's almost maxed out. That is just crazy. Like, the, you know, maybe on Vostok you can use this range, but other than that, I really don't see, you know, uh, I don't know, man. It's crazy. Uh, I just, I feel more comfortable with the GA Post. It's just a red dot. But uh, I would go between the GA Post and the LC range, depending on the map, I guess. Um, not even on Midtown you would need that kind of range, but it's interesting. I think PvE, it would be great. But we're going to do a PvP test today because everything works in PvE um, to a certain extent. So we want to really put it through its paces in the PvP environment. Uh, so we have three perks here. Let's see, Ricochet Rounds uh, is what I'll be running today uh, because I want that added stability that it provides because this gun needs it. So I'll be doing that. So it slightly increases range, increases stability. The other options you do have, mo though, is uh, a pendant mag. Increases magazine size, but it takes away from range and stability. You don't get that bonus that you get from ricochet rounds. And then you have alloy magazine. Reloads faster when the magazine is empty. Now, honestly, these two are great perks for its third perk. High impact reserves. Rounds at the end of the magazine deal more damage. Now, this is probably more of a pve perk i don't really think it's that great in pvp but still if you're gonna you know you have a perk where the bottom end of the mag does more damage having a pendant mag or um well actually alloy magazine would probably be great for uh high impact reserves because you can just reload faster just run the whole magazine out um i'm just gonna stick with ricochet rounds though uh just because i want that added stability and we'll see how that goes if you see i got the uh fremulous blue shader on here um this is what it looks like standard I just don't like the I don't like the new Monarchy shader, the new one. So we're going with that right now. All right, and yeah, so I'm gonna use my Hunter. I'm gonna run Foe Tracer because I'm working from a distance, and uh, my sidearm or my not sidearm, my uh, energy weapon will be the Stochastic Variable, great SMG. I've got that masterwork for range. Running the Phase Mag, 
And I just put a shotgun here, sudden death. I got tired of using sins of the past. So we're going to run sudden death today. See how that goes. All right, so it's time to take this sucker into the crucible, and we'll see how she plays. All right. Get in here. I think we're going to do some control. I bet it's control. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this weekend was brutal in trials. Uh, I think we ran maybe, uh, oh, man, over 60 matches total. We did a few uh, attempted carry runs, and then we did a few other things. It was just brutal. It was fun, though. Managed to get flawless, but it took a lot of work. Big props to Thoros, though. Tickle as well. Um, we had a great squad. We worked really well. We ended up pulling out some great victories. Had a good time. All right, let's get going. Good map to try this weapon out on, too. It's got decent range areas here. Going to use my submachine gun to get around faster. That lightweight frame for the win. All right, let's see what we got going on here. A looks free. I love that red dot sight. I haven't really, well, it's the first game of the day, really, um, of being serious anyway, and we'll see how she goes. Usually takes me a while to warm up. I'm not that great until I warm up. Uh, they just took B, so I'm assuming they're going to come to C. Now, I'm going to try to be patient um, and put that there to kind of make them think someone's behind the rock. Yeah, I'm going to try to be patient, though. I, I don't want to rush. I don't want to be um, – I usually try to play aggressive with my hunter lately. But we're going to try to take it easy and kind of see um, – you know, play to this weapon's strengths. So we'll see how she goes. Come on. Peep your little head out. Come on. Be the predictable person that you are. There you go. Come on. They just took the lead. All right. I'll give it a second here. Well, don't want to rush. Throw that nade. See, there's two. One. We'll run away from there. That just didn't feel right. All right. Try to kite him. Make him come Don't to me. Captured. Oh, well, I think he took care of it for me. Yeah. Hey, that works. The lead. Nice. You see, the stability is kind of all over the place. Um, a li just a little bit. That's a power play. Um, the gun is... Man, look at that. It hits hard. It's pretty good. Uh, it's just the stability it. there. I definitely... I'm thinking about master working for stability. I mean, it hits hard, though. Uh-uh, nope. Team shot, no. There we go. Oh, sorry about that. Skawaii girl. Come on, where'd you go? Must have died. Come on, get in a selfie. Where are you going? I'm taking a selfie. Hold still. You captured zone A. There you go, man. Keep the pressure on. Alright. Zone C Let's lost. Go over here. Let's see what's going on. Uh oh. Here we go. Zone B lost. Ah, the accuracy was my, huh, my aim was so bad right there. Come on. Ah. Fudge. I'm gonna hit him with that nade watch. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Zone B captured. There we go. Yeah. Sorry again. Five minutes remaining. I'll let the blueberry get the point, maybe. I'll try to get that heavy. Here's a bit of a distraction here. I'm gonna attempt to get a shotgun kill. I don't use shotguns much. Zone C captured. You have zone Boom, bam. Oh man. Oh, lucky me. Run away. Do we have another one? I'm gonna crouch here, try to blank out of the radar. Oh, here comes the blueberry to ruin it. I was gonna surprise that guy. What did you do that for? No. Did you try to Gemini Jester him? Alright. My mouse is being funny. Sorry. Alright, let's see what we got here. My mouse is being stupid. Ah, my mouse cord. Hang on. Up. Zone A captured. You have zone advantage. I used my speaker as a mouse bungee and it kind of pulled the wire, came out from under the speaker.
I like the way the weapon sounds, and it, and I like the way it feels. It feels like a good like it feels like it it hits hard, and that's a good thing. It even sounds like it. I love the sound of it. Cap this real quick. Zone C. And back up to Keep A we go. Zone A lost. Oh, tether, run. Zone B lost. Well, that sucked. Mr. Tether, homie. We got another tether. Well, aren't we optimistic? Thought I was going around there, huh? Man, look at that aim. Oh, that was better. What we got going on here? I'm about to pull out the SMG. Come on. There we go. Give me that headshot. Nice. Another great gun right there. Stochastic variable. My favorite SMG in the energy slot. Zone C lost. It's a power play. Get those zones oh, back. Oh, man. Zone B. Go take the zones. Can't rely on the blueberries to do nothing. Uh, you know, that's the second time I killed her in the same exact spot. Hmm. Just let the blueberries focus on uh, B, and I'll just keep going back and forth between A and C. Seems to work for me. Zone B lost. It's a power play. Get those zones back. Where'd you go? Put your head out here. Give me something to shoot. Oh, ouch. That hurt. That hurt my feelings. Zone B captured. Zone advantage. I'm gonna leave that alone. Zone C lost. Zone A captured. I left C, went to Nopeville. I'm not dealing with that. You can come back to me though. I'll kite you in. Seems to work better. Come on. There you go. Bring yourself over here. There we go. Yes, the gun looks great. Uh, I like the look of the gun. Uh, like I said, this site to me just feels the best. Uh, the other two options are good too. I'm not going to get into them today, but um, they're okay. I just feel like this is the better site. Twenty-five uh, per bullet is pretty good too, man. That's that's pretty insane. Look at that. Man, that thing, you see 32 right there. That thing melts, man. Zone B captured. Wow, impressive. I wouldn't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the darkest before, but this is still pretty entertaining. Eat that knife. Back this point. Oh, man, we're really close here. This is going to be so close. 10 seconds left. Come on. Get your butt over here. Cap this thing. There we go. We might win this. It's going to be about one point. Watch. There it is right there. Bam. One point. Nice. That was, that was cool. Yeah, so I like the gun. Um, it's a lot of fun to use. Oh, wow. Okay. It's a lot of fun to use. Uh, I don't see this being meta, but it is a lot of fun, and that's what's important to me. I def I'm definitely going to play more with this and uh, see kind of how it goes. Uh, see what I how would I do? Oh, that's not too bad. 14-0. That's that's decent. Um, so yeah, uh, Mr. Speed, good job on those 19 kills. Um, yeah, so it's a great gun. Uh, let me know what you think about it, guys. Leave me a comment below. Um, if there's any other weapons you want to see me play around with, uh, I love new stuff. So yeah, let me know, guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Bye.